How's it going everyone? It's Aster here. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to do a little bit different of a discussion topic. Uh, pretty much just discussing about the Pharaoh. I mean, normally it's a gun you guys never see me use, and a lot of you guys who are long followers of the channel are probably scratching your head, like, why is he using this gun? Um, I, I don't think I've ever posted a gameplay with this. If not, it was a very long time ago. And I pretty much just wanted to explain myself on why I'm using this gun uh, in a couple of gameplays that I got on here for y'all. Uh, first off, I am going for Dark Matter for the third time. Uh, this time, finally, on my PlayStation 4 account. Uh, I've been playing on it for quite some time now, and I was like, you know what? I feel like the one thing that I really want on this account is Dark Matter. And I just felt like it'd be a lot of fun to go for it again, um, even though it is a grind at certain points. But going back to the Pharaoh, this gun is very very inconsistent so you guys are going to see a couple gameplays which i actually do well in and then there's a lot of other ones while i was going for headshots where i did not do so hot so uh it, it, what's really weird about this gun is that certain games it's absolutely uh dominant it's so good and then in other ones i'm like why am i using even using this thing like i don't know if treyarch just comes in my games and they see oh wow he did really well that game let's nerf it and uh make none of the bullets connect and you just absolutely get shredded so <laughs> um and a couple of the parts of the video too you guys are going to see me going for headshots if someone's afk or something like that so if you're seeing why i'm aiming a little bit weird that's simply the reason why uh just because this gun was a bit of a grind and i was trying to knock it out as quickly as i could but you know it's all part of the game um, currently, right now, I'm trying to complete all the ARs and the SMGs, uh, and then I'm going to progress my way on to the LMGs, snipers, and then the secondaries. Um, I'll be sure to keep you guys on status updates. I know a lot of y'all have been requesting more of the commentary style videos rather than just the music. Uh, for those of you who that enjoy the music as well, I'll be uh, intermixing both of them just because it's every, it's so nice and easy sometimes just to make the music videos. and. Uh, for some of y'all, you just really enjoyed the um, the uh, commentary content as well. So I'm just going to try to appease to everyone here, and I hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, as I say with every video, please let me know what y'all want to see, and I'll be sure to try to attempt to do that <laughs> throughout everything like that. Uh, I am going to try to start doing live comms. It's just that in my place, it's very loud, so it makes doing live commentaries very difficult because someone's always screaming in the background like a dog. <laughs> so if you guys hear that, uh, that's definitely the reason why. But going back to everything, though, uh, I just want to give you guys kind of a status update on my channel as well. I'm going to start mixing more GTA 5 videos in here as well, just primarily because I've been enjoying playing that game. Uh, and I just want to post stuff that I enjoy. That's the main reason why I have this YouTube channel. It's not just to go for views or money or anything like that, like a lot of other channels' uh, incentives for posting videos and stuff like that. Mine has always been uh, content based, like just pretty much showing what, uh, showcasing what I enjoy, doing what I enjoy playing uh, to the public. Uh, my YouTube channel all started about me just posting gameplays because I kept telling all my friends, oh, I did this, I did that in Call of Duty today. And they're like, man, wow, that's really cool. And uh, I, I just liked telling them about it and discussing it. And it's really what motivated me to start my own channel, start posting my own gameplays and everything like that. I mean, I don't care about the audience initially or anything like that. I was just simply posting it for me. And I know a lot of y'all have asked why I started and how I started it and uh recent comments and i also just really want to address that i mean if you're looking at starting it yourself as well it's really easy to do i mean a lot of these new gen consoles have their own uh, built-in game dvr so it makes it really simple uh for anyone to start playing uh and recording without even having a computer an elgato or capture card or anything like that um with xbox all you have to do is game dvr on there and playstation has its own share button as well which you'll be able to record and just post directly to YouTube off of there. So it makes it really easy, really nice. Um, and I highly recommend you guys do it. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's definitely a lot of work if you want to post consistently and stuff like that, just with all the editing and playing. But uh, it's definitely a blast, and I love bringing you guys content consist consistently. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in every day. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to try to keep my upload schedule as consistent as possible. Uh, try to keep you guys as entertained with all the... Uh, quarantines going on <laughs> uh, but uh, I just wanted to appreciate you guys I wanted to say how appreciative I am for y'all's support 
uh, all you guys commenting really nice stuff on every single video I post and uh, for defending me in the comments as well. But uh, thank you guys so much for everything. I'll see you guys in the next video.